Hello everyone, welcome back to Stonehearth. Today we're gonna do something different guys, we're actually gonna go up against the Titan, I have decided, since it's not very long until this season is gonna end with Stonehearth and a new one is gonna begin, a new adventure is gonna start soon. So for that reason, I think we should at least finish the game, right? And we have been decorating around town, Frost Feast should be activated again, I haven't been able to forget the fun of my town, but it might be because I have a running town already. So, to start the event with the final boss, we need a gong of sinister beckoning. And this one we have to put out somewhere in town. And it would have been really cool if this building was done, but I, what I think I'm gonna do... ...is that I'm gonna put it right up here, above the entrance to the cave. And that's where we're gonna sign the gong. And maybe we can put some things around, maybe there can be some bunnies guarding it, protecting from the titan. Have the protecting bunnies. But that's kind of fun, I think. And some lights up here, of course. We're gonna make it fun, so whenever we put something out, we can make it look nice. And perhaps we can have some of these behind her as well. That might be pretty nice. So we're just gonna wait for them to put that out. However, I would say with the frost piece now that it has been updated with, I think, with like four new recipes. So there's some like Christmas slides and so on. Uh, I tried to unlock the recipes, I would recommend that, by the Ace team, and uh, I haven't been able to activate those new recipes. But there's supposed to be some new decoration lights that you can like, put on walls. But I kind of wonder if I actually have it or not. A scroll note attached to the sinister gong. Only sound this gong when re prepared. The town will be cut off from the world for days. Corrupted creatures will surely appear, face them in combat if you can. Hold up and hide if you cannot. There is no shame in survival. Be vigilant of citizens being trapped, building being threatened, and prepared to dig. Every small victory will sap away the titan strength attempt and no direct attack. It is out of reach and mere apparition. Send strong in driving away his corruption and you will emerge victorious. Select the gong and press Awaken the Titan button when you are ready, killing or destroying the Titan's minions and 10 Titans on roots will reduce the health. So that's what we're gonna do guys. Now it's gonna go crazy. Look at all the things happening. Deer is in the background guys. <laughs> oh, this is the final boss. The titan roots everywhere below ghostly tentacles. Dig them up to hurt the titan. Okay, so you see these tentacles? That's the one we can deal with. But look at this big guy. Super big. It's insane how big this guy is. The sinister age. So we have these little tentacles. And these we have to... Dig up, because down here we have this thing, we have to go and destroy those things. And uh, to do those we will dig down pretty much. And it can be a little bit tricky, so you have to have people available for digging pretty much. And I think the easiest way in this case would be just to go down, and all the way down here really. You can also shoot from above, that's also possible. But if you remove that, then that enough should be good enough going down there, and let's do the same for these. And there will be portals around the map as well, but I'm gonna start first with just digging holes, but we gotta remember to add some ladders still later on. So there we go. Oh, there's some nearby here as well. Oh, this might be maybe a little bit easier. So these are a little bit trickier, but if we go underground, we can kind of see where they are. There's a little opening there. Ooh, wow, look at those. That's a big army of those coming in right when the battle starts. Okay, let's get our troops ready at the gate. This is why I prepared so much without turrets and so much without traps. So whatever happens, hopefully we will be able to protect ourselves against whatever comes against us. Let's rain down those arrows. This guy, the dumb, is protecting us. It's pretty nice to actually take an aggro, so that's good. Okay, let's see. Do we have any nearby warriors? They are very far away. They're taking the longest path available. Okay, that's great. A blight. We lost some crops. Oh no. What will we do? 
But yeah, that was weird. Why didn't they take this path? Is it that faster to go outside? I don't think so. <laughs> but that's the path we're taking. Okay, so let's make sure we activate a little bit of uh, tonics. Invaders approaching. I can see them. We're gonna go and dig down. There should also be some portals we can destroy around the map. I'm not sure if they have spawned yet, but we do have our tentacles to deal with. A storm of pure evil erupts from the titan. Take shelter, so that's also important. Portals, they keep spawning and crawling by us until we destroy them. But beware the corrupted guardians. Okay, so he's launching, as you can see in the back here. Be careful with that. I think we still have the flag in here. Inside of the mountain, if I don't... Didn't move that again. I hope I do have it in there. It might actually be out here. Maybe I moved it out at some point. Or just watch out people run there. I guess that's also an option. Let's do that. Let's see where they're running. Looks like... Oh yeah, into this one. I think they will be safe in there. Oh, look at the amount of loot we got. Awesome. But yeah, we don't also do have our solars. This one looks like it's only really gonna hit our town. But it looks like we're gonna be safe from that at least. As long as ever, everyone gets inside. I'm not sure what's gonna happen to all of our animals though. Can't really do too much about that. Um, but yeah, let's take our troops. Let's run down here. And we're gonna change our troops as well. So we're only gonna be uh, mining and hauling really. I'm not going to do any building. We only want to be able to dig down and make ladders. Some of them are already deep in town again. That went quick. Okay, let's see if they want to run outside again. Okay, they're going to take the longest path again. Very nice. <laughs> I wonder why they do that suddenly. That's weird. Really weird. Okay, so let's see where we had this. There it is. I think we just do it like that. And that might be good enough. Sometimes it's easier to dig up a little bit wider so you can ensure that you can actually see what you're about to do. And in this case, we also want to do like a little staircase to get down here. And let's make sure job is disabled. And let's make sure everyone is running over here still so we can do some digging. So in the best of worlds, the closest people would be doing the digging, but stone half. <laughs> Sometimes it's not clever enough to figure it out. But now we can uh, remove everyone from hiding at least. We survived the first storm, that's good. But let's see, there's some portals here in the woods as well. We have to deal with them. That we should do soon. Pretty cool. Got some mystical little runes on them in the faces. So this is all the way over there. I would say the portals are probably the fastest to deal with. Maybe not the easiest, but the fastest to deal with. As long as people want to dig down, we're going to be able to go down there, but from experience I know that they don't often do what you tell them to do in this game. <laughs> it would be awesome if they did, but not what they do. It's almost like I want to block off this entire road now that they're taking the longest road, not the quickest road. They're taking the longest possible road <laughs> when you hear they go around there. It would be much quicker to just go over there. That's weird. I guess it has something to do with this, but that shouldn't make it take longer, right? More roots of corruption, okay. Yeah, it's not like we have had time to deal with any of them so far. So what we can do here also is to make sure no one is building at all. We don't want to focus on any building whatsoever at the moment. And we don't really want anyone to want them to do their job even. I guess we can leave maybe that one on, maybe. Okay, so hopefully someone will dig there. That's that's like one of the things that I don't like about the big boss event, that the AI in this game is not very smart. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm not gonna do this. Like, I feel like the way the game should work, whenever a player designates a task, do this. That should get like the highest priority, because that's probably most of the time what you want. What is this guy doing? <laughs> I gotta go and loot some stone. Ah, uh, is it one of my clerics? What are you doing up here? That's weird. That also happens. Like as like I said, <laughs> it 
your people aren't very clever in this game. Um, let's go up here. But also like the longer... You... Oh no, they grabbed them. Okay, we have to help. But the thing is also like the longer you play the game, the less clever they get because... Yeah, limited resources. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's try to head up to the mountain, I guess. I'm gonna deal with that. So we can actually save this person, hopefully. Trolls. Could be a risk that we might not be able to do so. But that would be super annoying. Like, when it's not your own fault, what you're doing, it's so annoying. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Kinda hard to see where troop is. And we don't care for raccoons at the moment. Totally unimportant. Okay, let's head over here. It feels like most of them should have been here already. They have quick access. Okay, yeah, they're running there again for some reason. I honestly have no idea why they do that. <laughs> like, are these locked? Unlocked? Yeah, that one's also unlocked. Okay, so that's... That's strange. No ID. Hey, what are these guys doing? Wait, oh yeah, they're gonna, tr gonna try to go and rescue them. It might be worth it because if they can lift them for a short period of time, they might at least prolong the saving. But not sure what why there's two people here. <laughs> what are you doing, game? Like, I gotta go loot there. There's enemies here. Yeah, let's go loot that. But what we can do is to cancel the looting also. Hey, I clicked X. There we go. I didn't click that one. Ah, wait, what, what is this guy doing over here? Okay, there we go, we got one of them. Let's go focus on that little guy. Okay, let's disable Rally and hopefully someone can come over and rescue him. I really, really hope so. Look how much they hurt. They hurt so much, these guys. <laughs> and some of the uh, souls are drunk in a battle also, maybe not the best time. Okay, let's make sure we attack all the way over there. I think we should hopefully be able to save the trolls. I really, really hope so. If not, it's your own fault, man. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Why is this guy running back? Like, this game's AI. Let's be honest, it's not good. <laughs> you tell them to attack over here? And like this guy also, they're also running down for some reason. Even though these targets are much further away, it's so weird. Okay, there we go. So you should be able to see that we have hurt the Titan a little bit. Yeah. There we go, trolls. You're gonna be safe, man. Hopefully. And they do have a portal down here, so let's go deal with that one as well. And I do recommend to most of the time to just use the move command because the attack command is... It is kind of broken in the game like you saw before. They were like running... Pretty much running... Um, weird places sometimes it's good to use it but they, they tend to do weird things with it okay so let's see if they're gonna keep going that way okay they're finding something else so, so here you can see like the may oh, okay there's actually one guy down there so hopefully they will head over to the other side when they're done with this guy Okay, nice. Okay, it's actually working. Very nice. There's another one coming over there. So I think the portals is probably the most fun and best way kind of to deal with them. Oh, there's some components up there now as well. And like, like I said with digging these, it's kind of tricky because... Pretty much your people don't do what you want them to do, so that's make it tricky. Let's see if they have dug anything yet. Nothing dug yet. This one, nothing has been dug more than before. 
Okay. And we have pause building. Um, I should we pause? I guess we could pause the job for a bit. Let's see if that ha helps with anything. I hope so. Uh, I'm gonna put a ladder over here. So whenever we are all the way over here, we can still go up there. So the job should still. I, I know I paused job in here, but I think it should still be on for our soldiers. Or well, maybe not, because okay, so we can't actually do it that way. Okay. Did we go? Very nice. So we dealt with them, and. Uh, it feels like we probably should deal with the kobolds up there as well. I wonder if our, one of our soldiers can build a ladder. Like, imagine if they actually just did that. Do the ladder. Can we tell them to do one here and they will do it? <laughs> it would be so nice if the, like, whoever is the closest to building a ladder would just do it. It would be saving so much time. I don't want to build the ladder, you can do it. <laughs> okay, let's go deal with these guys. But yeah, like, I, I love the idea of the Titan battle. The Titan is super cool, the, everything is cool about it, but... I think it's not... The game is not really... Wasn't really prepared for such an event, really, I would say. You would need a lot, like a lot more, like smarter AI for it to to feel in a good way. You you can definitely win it, but it doesn't feel very good, I would say. But these guys are just like other minions, so these aren't really part of the um, Titan thing. I sometimes even wish they would just disable those events while this event is occurring, so you can just focus on that instead, because that would make it probably more fun, I think. Uh, I, don't, I don't think this is going to help, but I'm going to see if I can just make it a little bit wider, get closer there. And uh, let's try to do maybe potentially the same here. It looks like this has grown out, so... Do we have to harvest those? Yes, we do. Let's do that for all of them. Maybe that is preventing us from digging also. Like they are expanding now. They weren't this big before, but now they are. Okay, so oh, there are some more portals. Okay, let's go deal with them. We're gonna focus mostly on the soldiers for taking down portals, I think. Up here, we should have ladders, I think. Yes. Ah, more portals. Okay, this one is a little bit closer. Look at that big guy. Titan worm. Insanely big. More rules of corruption, yeah. <laughs> it's good that they spawn a lot of corruption. And I wonder what happened with the guy in here, by the way. Yeah, we have to... Let's go there. Let's make sure we fix that first. But yeah, like, it would be impossible to, like, <laughs> catch all these tentacles. I mean, maybe that's not the, the idea with it, but it, it is impossible. People don't work that fast. Okay, let's head over here. Okay, we gotta be careful. We we don't have everyone with us yet, so let's... Are we safe? I think maybe we can deal with them. I do think this big guy is super dangerous, however. Let's fall back a little bit. Lost some crops. We don't care about that. Let's focus maybe on this big guy. Here we go. Okay, we're getting another storm. Okay. We should probably uh, tell our people to go inside again. Yeah, let's do that. Before it's too late. Now we're hurting the Titan again. That's good. So I would say like... If you do this event, I would say recommend uh, like go for the go for the portals. It takes maybe potentially longer, but it's it's more fun. You can do this still, but uh, yeah, we're gonna focus most on portals because it's more fun. 
And let's give them a little bit of bonus stats. Because this is a really dangerous combat. They, they do hit like trucks, these guys. All of them, pretty much. You can see we're losing so much health for that. Here we go. How's it going in town? Uh, I think we can let them out again. Storm has kind of gone away, so it should be fine, I think. Okay, there we go. Awesome. So we had some more portals, I think. Yeah, over there. Okay, so we're going to go deal with them as well. Let's move around here. And let's have another look around the tentacles, if any of them has been dug down to. Not so far. Things. And what we can do that might help in this case is maybe to add back hauling to all of our people. It might help. It may not do so, but it might. Look at this hungry squad. <laughs> They're gonna be fighting extra hard now because they know when they are done with the Titan, they're gonna be able to eat a good amount of food. And they definitely do do need that and should have that. For doing such a great job defending us. I wonder if we have any more portals around. I just wanna see if there's some more of them. I can see at the moment. They are kind of easy to spot around the map. Okay, so here we are at this place. So we're down like one third or one fourth or something of their health. So that's pretty good. Oh no, look at that, guys. We got a big one in town. We got to deal with that one or it's going to break our building. I'm not sure how long even... What? Where did it go? I, I sure hope it didn't destroy my building because I had like two seconds to do it. <laughs> huh? Pure evil erupt? What? Uh, not sure what he meant. Okay, there we go. So that portal is also down. Okay, very nice. So let's try to disable job from soldiers. Hopefully they will be able to go and do some mining. I'm not sure why no one is actually mining. I guess what we could do, actually. If we have it like that, there should be a few people that only do mining. Which means mining should get done. And, um... Yeah, yeah. Let's do that like that. I think we're gonna be fine if we do it this way. And let's disable for all of them, really. We have other people who could kind of, like, do the ladder building anyway so i think we're gonna be fine if we do it this way the thing is that like mining in a game is like the lowest priority of things that your people do so you pretty much have to remove everything i, I would love if this game had like specific per person like you know rim world flotsam oxygen not included we can set like uh mr bob here is gonna be focused on fishing but he's not gonna be focused on on building and so on you can see how fast we were able to get down now that we did this. And, uh, yeah. Okay, let's go X-ray. And what we have to do here... Are we far down enough? I'm not sure if we are. Uh, where's this one? Hmm, okay, here we are. I think we can go down and shoot here. So let's send down some soldiers. Kill it, kill it with fire. Hopefully we have some fire arrows with us. Uh, but yeah, let's harvest this as well then. And then we're gonna be digging down to this one. Let's see where it is. There it is. So we can console a lot of this again. You widen that up a bit. There we go, our AI is quicker. So you know there, there are ways to get around it. There we go, we broke it. Awesome. So yeah. But that would probably the biggest annoyance with it is it, a little bit with the AI, like they're not too smart with things, but it's also like the performance when you get deep into the game, it just Yeah. Okay, so let's see. This one we are almost done in. 
Let's need to get down further. And let's see, how are we doing up here now? Okay, this one still needs some digging. I think, yeah. Lost some crops, okay. If there's not a wave of uh, hurtful damage coming, it looks like it. it did sound like it. Oh, wow. Here's double trouble, okay. This should be really good. This should be allowing us to remove two of them super quickly, hopefully. We'll do it like that. And the other one we can... Oh, nice. I think we might be able to destroy it from the end. Let's try that. Let's move all the troops over here. And uh, let's see what more we can dig down to. Oh, this one also. Okay, it's going pretty good now. Looks like we might win over the Titan, guys. New portal opens. Okay. Oh, there's some ogres and things. So, so this is a little bit what I feared. Look at this, guys. Looks pretty cool. Uh, that's what I feared a little bit, that we're gonna get ogres. But since we do have so many turrets and so many traps... I think we're gonna be safe, even if we don't really go there. There might some be some people hurt outside, maybe, but uh, I think we should be kind of fine with it. More roots of corruption burrow. Oh, another one. Wow. Guys, we're kind of lucky. It's again spawning in the same area. That's pretty good for us. That's good stuff. And in this case, uh, let's go into options, by the way. We might want to change the setting with Ace. So, here is regarding ladders. How to remove minus on ladders. So we're going to disable that. That means they should remain when we dig down. The ones we already made, they might not, but uh, in general they should. Okay, there we go. Another one. Wow, we're doing great now. Awesome. Okay, so this one we have to dig down to. Then we had one over there. And yeah, this one as well. Let's go there. Going pretty good now, guys. Going to be able to do this. In this case, I want, maybe we should split us up into different groups. Yes, we can like go to two places at the same time. I think that would be a good idea. But we need to add members. Let's add one cleric, one footman. We need, uh, let's say, one archer. One of the knights. So we have four, we have 11 people. I think we should have at least one more. Uh, let's go with Anorak in that one. That should be good. Okay, so now we should be able to control two different groups. So, green group go over there. And then we can send uh, the red group somewhere else. Like down there or to another one. Oh, there's another one down here. Okay. So, let's have red squad go to that one. Starving. Ah. They've been fighting so much now that everyone is starting to even star. Wow. Ah, and there's some... Ah, uh, they're... What? Ah, they're fighting, okay. The city are also changing, sh sh chasing and the Brakar, my worker. That's not very nice of them. But we have to make sure we go here and deal with this one. The red squad should be getting there. Where do we have a red squad over there? And green squad, how are you guys doing? Oh, they broke... They did what they needed to do, okay. So let's send out the green squad out here to battle, I guess. Like, that's a really good thing if you have different groups. Most of the time I prefer to have them in the same, but you can be very, very... ...good with moving around your people that way. I still think, feel like these feels a little bit like Lego. Okay, let's see. Red squad is coming in to break the tentacle. Hopefully before it breaks my <laughs> building. One hour? Wow. You have to be kind of quick with this, so maybe I just missed it. One hour. That's not a long time, really. It's a small building, at least. Okay, there we go. Uh, they did have a portal. Yeah, that one, yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, here's one. I think we can actually go down to now. So if we send green squad to that one. Let's see. I think there should still be one down here. Yeah. And yeah, we can go down here. Nice. Okay, let's send them to go there. And red squad, where can they go? Should they go to the other one? Maybe a red squad. I'm not sure if they can deal with them alone. Maybe they can. Yeah. Let's see if they can. Let's go red squad over here. That's good that the Cobalts are fighting them. That's nice. Get us a backup from our enemies. Okay, looks like we broke that one. I need to wait to see if they are gone. It's actually just look where the tentacles. And we've been doing pretty good now, actually. Let's send the green squad over here. So we're kind of like running back and forth. But let's go break that. And over here we are. We have one more here. So I guess green can deal with that one as well. And then we have one over here. That's one I think we can almost access from the outside. Ah, that one feels a little bit tricky. A blight, we lost some crops, okay. There's almost no tank tentacles left, so we actually did pretty good now, that's nice. I think we have to kind of deal with this one. Let's see if we can actually find it. Ah, it's all the way down here. Wow. Okay, we can cancel that one. But yeah, you can see people are kind of like starving and stuff. It's a little bit scary. Like, yeah, people also have to go and eat. So we might have to give them a little bit of a break soon. Let's see how squad's squad red doing. Okay, I think they're doing pretty good. Okay, very nice. I'm not sure if, when you harvest these, I wonder if that also hurts him. I think we're actually going to see if we can... Should we let the red squad maybe actually go and uh, eat, I guess? Yeah, let's see if we can go and eat a bit. And green squad should be over here by now. Yeah, nice. And I think we're going to see if we can let him eat as well a bit. Let's disable the job for all of them. And we can also remove this one. There we go. Go home and eat a bit. Everyone needs to get a bit of a snack now, I feel. And what we can do also, I want to see if we can maybe make some LED tonics. Oh, we can make the better one, at least one of them. But also let's queue like five of these. I think we still have job turn on for them. It's turned on. Okay, nice. We're treating some wounds as well. But everyone's having a little bit of a quick break, then it's back to battle again. Ah, here we have another one. We can dig down to that. It's starving. Okay. Go home and eat a little bit. Because soon we're going to battle and then people should have eaten. Got a little fox on top there for some reason. Here we go. Ah, nice. Okay. So, I think we can already go down to it. I think we're gonna d enable combat again, just to ensure that they fight. And I think we might actually... Just have our people deal with these last little things now, because when you're done with that, they can eat as much as they want. <laughs> can do have it. So let's see if we can... Wow, where did the camera go? See if we can go down here. Ok, 
Okay, let's send red squad to that one. And let's send... Actually, we can send a harvest. That's a thing you can also do if I remember. I'm pretty sure in the past, maybe you can still, that you can just send, set like, uh, harvest it to something. Ooh, I think we're a little bit late to run inside now. Maybe someone will at least survive. Where's our soldiers at the moment? Uh, I'm gonna see if this helps. We're gonna put to like defend on inside here. So if they're, they might, some of them might not get hurt at least. Here it comes. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, now we can unrally again. And uh, let's remove this. Why can't I select those? That's odd. Well, let's... Oh, okay, this one is done. Nice. Okay. Uh, they send something more portals, I think. Here we have some, yeah. Let's send maybe both red and green squad over there. We're getting really close now. However, let's make sure we kind of meet up here. I wish there were a flag in here that would be like all parties. I know we can attack when you click something, you can say like all parties and attack this. But it would be nice with a flag that would be like all parties overrides all other actions. That would be cool. Because sometimes when I have them split up, it's, it takes a little bit of time to click back and forth between them pretty much. Since we're a little bit into enemy territory, I'm gonna activate the bonus potions. Because we don't have most of our troops here yet, it seems. So let's see if we can meet up down here, maybe. Okay, now, now we've got most of them, I think. Okay, let's go for the big guy. Sinister Age do not have very much health anymore. Getting really, really low. More Roots of Corruption. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's dig as fast as we can. It's the best. To, because then it's not um, a lot of roots in the way. Oh no, a tank tackle grabbed the Gris McGriss. Okay, we're gonna check it very, very soon. Okay, there we go. Oh, here it is. Hello, Gris McGriss. Scary times. <laughs> Let's go save him. Let's take all the parties and attack that guy. Not the guy, but the tentacle. <laughs> Looks kinda cool though when they're swinging around like that, right? Save me! We're on the way. Okay, let's see. So this one... I think we can maybe access this one. Uh, maybe not. Ah, uh, we have to dig a little bit more still. Maybe like that. And this one... This one I think we can get down to. See if we can get him out of the way there. Okay, why is this guy stuck over here? Ah, it looks like it's... 
Matrix standing on it. No, TMO, you grab by the tentacle. Okay, before we go too far, let's send Red Squad over there. I think they might still be in town. Anirak, the contestant, is starving. Yeah, we have to be careful so we don't get people stuck down in holes, but since now we're like leaving the ladders, I think it should be fine. But it looks like TMO got saved also, that's nice. Let's make sure. Resting by the fire, okay, that's good. Maybe we should bring some fire the next time and fight a tentacle, that would be nice. We can burn them down, yes. I think these might be the, maybe the final two we need, really. If we can go there and actually dig this down. Why do I hear bees? <laughs> There's some weird bee sounds going on, I have no idea why. Okay, did you not take that one? I think they should be able to go and take that one down from there, right? I do see that there is someone at least stuck down there. I'm just gonna add a few ladders, hopefully hopefully they get out of there. <laughs> like I said before, like if they can be ladders, I might not have the task on for it now, but if they can be ladders and they are the closest, I feel like they should always build the ladders then. Roar the Stung has been caught as well. Almost in his own trap, that's kind of funny, right? Okay, let's break that. Ah, uh, this one should be pretty easy, I think. New portal is open. Oh, but this is gonna be even easier. Okay, so it looks like we freed him from the tentacle. So maybe we can just go deal with portal and almost be done with it. Oh, this might get dangerous. Roll off. Uh, oh, yeah, that's super dangerous running in alone like that. That hurts a lot. Let's see if we can meet somewhere. Ah, uh, will Roll off survive that? Where's our healers? Where are they? I bet they're super far away, like usually. Let's see. Wow, so far away. At least some of them are. And let's see if we can focus attacking this guy instead of running into everyone. Okay. Let's fall back a little bit. Okay, we got a healer coming in. Oh, no, 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 no. They're attacking Rolof still. Let's attack this guy. Okay, let's send an uh, attack on this big guy. I think this might, might be the final blow against them. Oh no, we lost one, okay. Uh, let's make focus on the archer over here. Oh no. I think we might be fine. I'm gonna move them all to the same group now again. It's gonna be a little bit easier to control everything. Here we go. Is that the final piece? Ah, oh, such tiny little amounts left. Okay, 
Oh, how we now? Oh, this is the final blow, guys. This is the final one. Banto's starving. Yeah, you're gonna get some food soon, Banto. A storm of pure evil erupts the Titan. Take shelter. No, 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 no. We're gonna take him down now. I guess the storm might continue even though we take him down, but let's go take it down. This should be the final blow against him. Awesome. Look at that, guys. We got him. We got a Titan. Boom. You did it! With a terrifying roar and staggering blast of energy, the apparition of the titan stingerates, vanishing into nothingness. As the gloom fades, your citizens marvel at the clear sky stretching out above them, and the land itself seems to breathe a sign of relief as the laws of nature returns to normal. This calls for celebration! Yeah! We're gonna have some celebration? I hope so. The game is super quiet at the moment. Oh, look at that, we got some fireworks. Nice. This guy, ah, so nice. Would be awesome if that building was done by now. Would be cool. I think there's supposed to be music here. Are they going, going into the cave to celebrate? Oh, nice. <laughs> Erdin of the Red Kiln returns, joyous. I feel like I should move this one. I wonder if they will follow me if I move it. I don't think they will. We just can leave it there. But I can't bless the name you've done it. I came as quickly as I could. I could feel the change in the winds even from the Red Kiln territories. The defeat of the sinister presence may be what tips events in our favor and away from that of tre treasonous shamans. But even thanks to you on behalf of my late can, I shall return to my people to carry the news that the Titanus Scourge can truly be defeated. I should add, due to the exceptional bravery, some of my people have gone beyond simply respecting you as humans, to now truly consider you as an orc. Some even wish to em emigrate and become a member of your tribe. Yes, in fact, the Titan defeat has uh, cleansed the sinister gong I brought you. Along with your lands, the gong shall stand as a testament of my people's enduring respect for you as a tr your tribe and its people. So as long as the white stone gong is deployed and you have room for us, expect an orcish immigrant every few moons. That's really cool. Look at everyone running out. It's so nice. In fact, one of my most loyal disciples has come along with me. They're quite insistent about joining your tribe, in truth. I lament them leaving my side, but cannot begrudge their wishes. What say you? Will you accept this humble orc into your township this day? Yes, we will. Wonderful, so this orc and disciple may join your tribe. Yes, yes, yes. I want to have a diverse of people in here, so that would be awesome. Excellent, we orcs aren't quite as talented as the craft as you are, but my disciples has proven themselves as fierce warrior. I'm sure they will make themselves useful however else they can. Farewell, brave humans, until our future day has dawned. Save travels, Erden. So nice. Every message. Hype. <laughs> That's so nice. We've defeated the Titan, guys. So it's not gonna be too far until this series is gonna be over. It has been running for like a year or so. Uh, the game is not running very good anymore. It, it runs, but not very good. But it has been fun. It has been a really interesting to design all things. But I, I kind of want to get these houses done. That would be awesome. Swim level 2 Brewer. Erden Disciple joined the town. Okay, here we got the Womrick. Red Bingder, what the hell, however you say that. Level 4 Footman, that's really cool. We got an Orc in our squad. That's nice. And uh, he can't be all other professions. At the moment he's like a soldier, so we can see what kind of professions he can become. He can be a worker and he can also be an beast tamer, so that's pretty cool. But yeah guys, this is gonna be it for today. It was a really long episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a little bit of an it's a, it's a little bit annoying. It's a cool event, but you have to figure out how you wanna do things for them to do your things. And eventually we didn't figure it out, I would say, that it did things a bit quicker, so it went better. 
But yeah, guys, thanks for watching today's episode. And uh, like I said, uh, we're getting close to the end of this one, which means it's getting close to a new beginning of Stonehearth with a brand new series that you guys voted recently for uh, Coast of the Serene League. And uh, hopefully by then we will have an update to Coast of the Serene League and also an update potentially on Ace. But don't hold me to that. But we will see what happens. So guys, thanks for watching today's episode. Hope you had a good time and see you guys next time. Take care everyone, have a good one.